Good morning, good morning. Salam Aleko, Maleko and Salak and Sambelo Akutare to all. Peace and blessings be all to the family out there. Hope you guys are doing great. I pray nothing but the best for you guys. Um, there's nothing new under the sun. Remember, there's nothing new under the sun. Yes, I said it in my previous video, but it's just so people could hear it and understand it. <laughs> and why do I say this? Well, I got a request on one of the comments if I could speak about Paolo and the LGBT, right? Meaning Paolo and uh, homosexuality, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, first of all, I want to say that in no means and no way am I here uh, talking down on people that prefer same sex. Meaning if they're a man, they prefer a man. If they're a woman, they prefer being with a woman. Okay, relationships and so forth. And no way I'm here talking down or wanting to talk down or, or against it or whatever. Um, I'm a parent, right? Maybe like so many of you guys are. And I have daughters and I have sons. More sons than daughters. I have a daughter who is gay. Does that change my love for my daughter? Does that make me degrade my daughter? My daughter is my daughter. I'm gonna love her for who she is. You understand? Um, that's my baby. Her sexual preference is her sexual preference. My sexual preference is my sexual preference. So with that being said, just throwing that in there so that when you question me on what do you know about this topic, I could tell you I don't know, but I have someone in my life that's close, my blood, that's close to my heart, that is of that persuasion, that is gay. So in some extent, I know a little, not a lot. I don't follow the whole thing um, because I don't look, you know, to follow that or politics or, or or music or sports. I'm not into none of that, so I don't. I'm not up there now. What I could say is that a person who is gay. goes through a lot in life. I have seen it, I have witnessed it as a child, because my mom, she was a beautician, you know? When she was in her good times, she had went to a school called Robert Fiance, something like that, that's an old school. Somebody maybe that's old knows about the school. It was called Robert Fiance, something like that. And she got her license there for beautician. You know, she used to cut hair, do women's hair, cut men's hair, all that makeup, all that kind of stuff. And in these schools, there were a lot of gay men. They used to attend them to take the courses and to learn how to cut because this is what they like to do. And my mom would congregate with them. You know, they were, they became friends. And throughout my mom's life, uh, she always had gay friends, usually male, male gay friends, you know, um, and they would come around the house and all that stuff and hang out with us. And also 
I've been around gay people in my life. I've seen a lot, you know? Um, my mom had a best friend that was, um, she was a trans, meaning that she did away with her private part. Uh, she started taking estrogen and boobs and all this stuff. See, people think that this just started. There's nothing new under the sun. Anyway, and this man that transitioned over was a very good person. He had a husband. I'm talking to you, a husband that did not look or, or, or show any signs of being either gay or homeless. No, a man that worked, very, a strong dude. <laughs> very cool. And, uh, you know, they lived together. They were husband and wife. And we're talking about, this is in the 80s. And when I speak about these people suffer, I, I speak about it because... I seen and heard of a lot of a lot a lot of suffering of what these people go through, and I say these people, not in a form of disrespect. Um, I'm trying to look for a better word. Um, these people that 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 prefer this, you know, um, same sex. Um, Relationships, they go through a lot. And and they suffer a lot. And a lot of times, the family members shun them out. Like they ain't nobody. Like they're not human. You know, so with that being said, guys, um, when it comes to Nkisi Malongo, right? Anyway, way before, way let's not even go in Kisimalo. When it comes to speaking about homosexuality, as they call it these days, you know, and there's other terminologies and other, depending on what the person is, whether they transvestite, whether, you know, there's a whole bunch of names. I'm not going to sit here and say all the names because some of them to me seem sound a little bit like disrespectful and don't sound right. Um, uh, but when I say there's nothing new under the sun, is this same thing? There has always been homosexuality, whether you want to believe it or not. Throughout the world, through generation, through different people, there's been homosexuality. So, to me. This is nothing new. You know, and and this is a, a topic that's kind of rough to speak about because you gotta be very careful of how you speak because you don't wanna offend anyone. You understand? You don't wanna offend people because this is not what it's about. It's not about offending anybody and choosing corners and choosing sides. I'm a straight man. I'm straight, right? Got a wife. I like women. Uh, so that's my prerogative. That's who I choose to be with. I can't speak about other people. But anyway, homosexuality has always been around. Whether in closed doors, whether in closed societies where people don't know, opened, you know, um, in different, in different, um, parts of the world, this have existed, you know, it's like they're saying, they're saying something that just happened the other day and people just started doing it and that's it or getting, or, or this is what they felt, you know, uh, uh, they, you know, people think that this is something that, you know, 
it just came, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago or something like that. No. This been out and it's been already around before we, me, I was even thought about being here. Um, so, you know, let's get that through our heads. And as long as the person or persons respect you, you should give respect to them. It's all about humanity, man. Give respect to get respect. You understand? And that's it. Um, as far as anything that has to do with initiation, let's say. And we're not talking Afro-Cuban. Because we know that an Afro-Cuban um, Palo, we get initiated for different reasons or occasions or things, right? It's an initiation process. And in this initiation, a lot of Munansos will make sure and verify that you're not gay. Was it like this in Kikongo? Was it like this in the Bantu societies? Initiation wasn't like this. I don't even think they even asked anyone if they were homosexuals or not. <laughs> you understand? Initiation, initiation, unless you was an Nganga. Now we changing. An Nganga meaning the priest, the specialist, the man who originally was called the Nganga. And there was different positions of Ngangas. Not all Ngangas did the same thing. So people will get initiated to become part of a society, of a Kanda. Wait one second, real quick, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, well, people will get initiated to be part of a condo, to be part of a society. You know, um, most of the times you had to be to be able to be able to go into that fold. Because now you are considered an outsider. You cannot, you can't be in a place where you was not initiated into being because you wasn't part of them. That's how they looked at it. Um. So, in Afro-Cuban Palo, because Palo is not Bantu, Palo is not Kikongo, you know, there's no such thing as Palo in, in the Bantu or Kikongo traditions. The, you know, this is not, nothing called this. And they don't practice it the way we practice, you know? Um... Now, when you come to Palo, Palo, you have to understand that is Afro-Cuban. You have to understand that there's a variety of things that were happening at the time, uh, including male chauvinism, including male secret societies that were just for males only. Just like there were secret societies, they were just for females over there in Kikongo. If you read, you would notice and, 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 and see that there were different societies where only women were accepted. And they had to fit a certain criteria, criteria and a certain standard and all the same as men. So that being said, in in, in 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 Cuba 
there are secret societies, right? And it was only for men. And then masonry. There were masons. There are masons in Cuban in Cuba, just like here. But there are masons in Cuba also. That is just for men. So what happens to a person, right? That is a mason. They believe that 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 that's into a secret society like Abakwa. That already has a tradition and a practice and a belief, right? When they come into Palo to be either initiated or or or, or, or come into the fold to be part of the community, of course, with initiation, um, they bring that with them. They bring that side of that a man is a man and a man has to be with a woman. A woman is a woman and a woman has to be with a man. They bring that with them into the other traditions also. Then they become in gangas, they become priests and stuff like that, and they have that because they're masons, they are bakwa, they probably uh, uh they paleros. <coughs> and this is without putting the rama of how it started. What type of treaties did they make with the muertos when they started? If it was allowable, if it was not allowed to 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 um, initiate homosexual homosexuals in the in the condo or in the community, or in the branch or the rama, this is what I'm not even speaking about. That this is just straight up human man making his own laws, putting his own thoughts and his own beliefs into the tradition and we have to respect it right because the same way you want to be respected you got to respect them this is one of the main causes of a lot of the no homosexuality uh, a person that's of this persuasion that's a, a, a homosexual or transvestite or whatever is not allowed to get initiated this is where it comes from well this is part not all of it but this is part and reasons why some don't do it some don't do it a great majority don't, but they are a great majority too that initiate homosexual people, people that are more inclined to a person of their own sex. You understand? It's the same as them. Um, they are kandas, they are ramas that initiate um Homosexual people, I hate saying the damn word, homosexuals. Um, they are, and, I, and I, it's not because, it's because it sounds, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't sound, you know, doesn't sound respectful. Um, there are a lot of ramas that would initiate you, right? Even though if you're homosexual, they will initiate you. And you will only uh, get to the point of being an engayo, whether male or female. You know, you will never become a you will never become a priest, uh, and so forth and so on. And then you have some that will initiate you, and you'll become a priest like anybody else. You, they will give you an enganga like anybody else, and so forth and so on. Then you have uh, some that would initiate you, and and for some reason, for some reason or the other, you might have a situation where they have to give you a caldero, an enganga for you, that's only made for you, 
You you not you can't work on it for people only for yourself because it was built for a purpose. Um, that also exists. Now let's let's be honest, people. Let let's 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 look at let's look at things from as reasonable a human standpoint. Uh, do you think? in your mind that there has never been a palero whether tata, male, or ya, ya. Do you think that there has never been a male palero or a female palera and gangulera and gangulero that Practice the tradition and has initiated people in the tradition. Do you think, really think that that has that has never happened? You know, because we gotta be for real. We gotta be honest. We can't be sugarcoating stuff and, and thinking one way, you know, this way or the highway. No, 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 no. Let's talk, people. Let's talk. It's impossible. Because if you know a little bit of the history in Cuba, uh, there was a time when Fidel Castro wanted to do away with, let's say, gay or homosexuality. <laughs> and even some of the the men that were not gay was, uh, uh, were trying to put that 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 try to use that to be able to leave the land because he wanted to do away with all gay people. I was. He wanted to do away with. He wanted. He gave him permission to, to leave out of the countries. He didn't want to have no gay people in the country. <laughs> and then you have people they are afraid of coming out, right? Because of this stereotype. Because of this, you know, people are gonna talk down about me. People are gonna look, you know, at me in a different way. I'm not gonna earn this respect. I'm gonna lose. You know, the respect of people. They're not going to love me and all that. People were afraid to come out. So they had to... A lot of people had to get married. A lot of people had to have wives, children, husbands. When they really didn't want to. See, this is where we got... We got we, you know, we got to get to. You know, all the things that... Homosexual gay people go through. Now we're in an era that things are being a little more accepted. Uh, they still have some situations, some problems in certain places and in some areas, but more, it's more easier now. Now you see more. Now you you know it's not so hidden anymore. Now. You know, they, they, a lot of uh, people have come out, you understand? And um, it's not, you know, it ain't like it used to be. Now they're talking more. Now they have certain rights, you know, it, it wasn't like before. Listen, in Puerto Rico, I heard stories of old heads, you know, going to nightclubs and stuff like that and being under the influence and the person that looks like a woman, it's there and they dancing with them and all that. And then they end up taking them to a motel or something. And that person not being honest and not letting the other person know that, hey, listen, I'm, you know, this is who am I. Um, there have been situations where people even have gotten killed. And it was a, a, it was something that was very frowned upon too in Puerto Rico. 
even by the women. There was a lot of women that, was, that used to be against it also. So, you know, these are things that we got to, you know, deal with and understand. Now, I was speaking about some of the houses that are out here that will initiate you, being gay or not. They would uh, take you up to Engayo, you know, initiate you into Engayo, and that's it. There are some houses that will initiate you into Tata or Yaya. And that's it. Then there's some houses that you'll get initiated into Tata Yaya and receive a fundamental. Receive your Nganga. Are they out there? Yeah. Is it in the big scale? No. You understand? Now, we spoke about the male chauvinist part. We spoke about the secret society parts of males only. Just like we spoke about, I'll tell you about, in, in Africa and in Congo land and other uh, 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 people also had these secret societies for women and for men. Um, also, so it just didn't exist here. It exists over there too. And I explained to you that the initiation process over there was to be part of the community. Not like here in the Afro-Cuban tradition because it's not Kikongo you get initiated not only to be part of a community not only to be part of the community you can and that's it but as you go improving, learning it all depends of you who you are what is your condition? What is the situation? What it is? So, you know, you will get in, uh, uh, initiated depending on the house you go to. A lot of people initiate you as in Gayo first, and then as, as a Tata, and then maybe Tata and Kisi or Tata and Ganga. You know, different houses do different things. So, you know, we have to just, you know, Understand and follow what our lineage teaches us. Now, I also wanted to speak real quick because this is a long video, man. I didn't want to make it this long. Now, there also is a situation that has to do from the beginning of the Rama that the elders established a law between the spirit and man meaning that now it just didn't come from man well it came from man but it was an understanding between the man and that spirit that was residing in that receptacle so let's say i i let's say i, I i'm a i'm a uh, i'm a tronco mayor let's say from me is where all the other enganguleros from my lineage come from and let's say that I when I established my Nkisi and built my Nkisi and established my Rama, my Enzo, my Munanzo, my religious in institution if you want to call it my church if you want to call it you know, if you, for just for you to focus and see what I'm trying to talk, talk about, what I'm saying um, between me and the Muerto I had an agreement made with them that I'm not going to initiate homosexuals and the muerto agreed upon it for whatever reason it may be either I don't want to initiate or the muerto could have said to me we're not going to initiate homosexuals. Why? Because the muerto <laughs> doesn't approve for whatever reason it may be. He could have been an abacua. He could have been a mason. He could have been a male chauvinist. A female too. 
So now this rama, this this trunk or this trunk, right? This roots and trunk has these agreements. And when he go, I go initiating people, and people start learning and becoming tatas and yas, and they start receiving fundamentals and everything. These agreements are passed down to them, and they cannot break them. They cannot break them because they are linked to the tronco mayor. They always are going to be linked to that tronco mayor. You understand? So, anyway, I hope I make. <laughs> I didn't blabber too much, guys. I didn't even look at the time. I didn't even see that this was going for so long. But uh, you know, I wish you guys the best. And salam aleikum, aleikum salam. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Peace. Be safe, guys. And remember, no disrespect. I'm not here for that. Have a great day.